So, different video here. I'm on the road, and um, I got an I got an actual question that uh, asked me. Said, "Hey, what can we do? Uh, what are we gonna do? Can I talk about the new tax laws coming out? That's gonna be um, basically enforced by January 1st, and and what do I think about it, and 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 how it's gonna affect the community, the cryptocurrency community? And what I have to say is this." The U.S. government is going to try to employ, basically what they're doing right now is they're putting out an addendum. They're putting out a call order that says you have to basically pay for every trade that you make, just like you would on the stock market um, in cryptocurrency, whether you're trading or mining. Um, but in actuality in reality they have no real way of finding out how many trades you're doing a day and whatnot so basically they're trying to enforce laws into a lawless realm and the only people who are going to follow these laws are the people that are afraid of being indicted or going to prison or something like that um you guys are going to adhere adhere to those rules and regulations um now Coinbase did up, update their policy as well, um, and they put it out like a day ago, um, and they said, don't forget to pay your taxes. Um, they are encouraging everyone to pay their taxes, uh, and paying their taxes means they're going to give you a 1099, um, and you're going to you're going to get a 1099, and it's going to be up to you to provide that when you do your taxes. Um, I would suggest that at the very minimum, at the very minimum, the very minimum, if you have exceeded over the $10,000 limit or $20,000 limit, um, I would suggest at the very minimum that if you are making more than a gift tax for your state or whatever, that you should pay your taxes. Take the 1099 and pay it now why am I suggesting that I'm not suggesting that if you don't really have anything to really show but if you have moved thousands of dollars and in, in, in the in within this year and it's gonna be over that limit that puts you over that that gift tax limit then I would seriously suggest just taking the 1099 that they give you and paying your taxes on it on the, on the loss and gains on the gains and losses so that's all I can tell you. I am not a uh, tax professional. I am not a, a financial advisor. But I'm simply saying you have you have choices. You have the choice to do what they're telling you to do, um, or you have a choice not to. You know, nobody can really give you that that answer, but you. Um, like now, you know, if you're making a ton of money. <laughs> If you're making like Craig Grant, Trayvon Martin, or Trayvon James kind of money, you're making crypto Nick money. Um, then I would seriously suggest that you that you hire a professional tax uh, tax professional, um, and that you would pay all of your taxes um, simply so you don't get you don't get uh, you don't get get hit hit with the uh, you know with the IRS bullying. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to go to jail, but uh, you know, you can be that guy or that girl that says, you know what, crypto, they're not even recognizing crypto as being real anyway. I'm not going to pay any taxes. You can do that. But I'm just saying, at the end of the day, you don't want to be the one, you don't want to be the one, right, that has to go and argue, argue this in a court of law. Because you already see that their stance is on the subject. So it doesn't really matter what you say and argue. You're going to have to have a damn good lawyer to say, to, to acquit you, basically, because they're going to throw the book. So my suggestion, pay the little bit of taxes that you can, keep them off your back. Um, but remember, the moment that you start paying taxes, the moment you start paying taxes, don't ever, ever think about skipping out on paying taxes again. Because you will be on the radar. You're basically, by paying the taxes now, 
you're basically going to be volunteering to tell the government that you participate in cryptocurrency. So when next year rolls around and you make a shit ton of money or you're making the good money and you say, you know what? I paid taxes last year. I'm not paying that shit again this year. Guess what? You're already going to be on their radar. So again, if you're going to do it, do it. If you're not, don't. That's all I can really tell you. But uh, be just just be aware of all of the uh, programs, all of the, the debit cards that we use that have AMA and KY, uh, KYC. And just, just know that at some point in time, the reason why they collect that data is because they want to be able to protect their own ass if it ever calls for it at some point. So just be careful um, in what you do um, and be prepared. You know what I mean? This is free money. I know people hate it. I know the tax government, the IRS, is they're, they're crooks. I understand that, but at the same time, this is about you not being in jail over something that's free. Um, so, you know, don't uh, don't jeopardize your your freedom um, for to make a to make a standing point or a point. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, do what you got to do and keep it moving. Catch you guys later.